All right, in this lesson, we are going to visualize and control the liquid control from HMI. Now, this lesson is extended version of the last lesson. We have seen how to make a proportional logic. Now, we are going to monitor that logic from the HMI. Okay, so if you can see that presently in my tank, I have a very limited level and which you can see on the HMI screen as well. This is what we are going to make in this lesson. I'm just showing you the final output. So right now, this is in the auto mode. This is in the manual mode, right? Now in the manual mode, both the walls are off. I can turn it on by giving some values to my draining valve, which will drain my input, my water level. You can see that this is getting drained. And if I fill my, if I turn on my filling valve, you can see that this is on. This is going to fill my tank. All right, so I'm controlling in manual mode how much I have to fill and how much I have to drain. So I can control my valves from here. This is my fill valve and that's my draining valve. All right, this is the manual mode. Here we are not controlling the level. Like in the last lesson, we were giving some, you know, set point to control the level, but that's the manual mode. But if I go to the auto mode now by clicking this button, in the auto mode, you will find that this will follow the set point. And here you have the error. Okay, so this will stop when this value goes to 9. And you can see that this is going to 9 and this valve is getting closed automatically. Okay, now if I change the set point, you can see that the error is 0, set point is 9 and the feedback is 9. If I change the set point to 50%, Filling valve is closed and draining is on and level is decreasing and this will decrease when the error got zero this will stop The draining will stop you can also see the draining is getting closed because this is a proportional control yeah. So this was the auto mode and then you can quickly switch on to manual mode in manual mode Whatever values you give to your draining and filling wall that will be controlled. Okay, this is not following the set point so let's see how we can create that. So in this case, I'm going to close this, this program because that I have created before creating this lesson, before creating this live session. So I close this one and I will close this program. And we will start with the last logic which we have made. So I will open the last logic. All right. So let's let's open this project which we have made last time. Okay. So this was our last logic and here I have given you a homework if you remember. I ask you to let me open this one. The homework was to make a proportional control knob here so that we can change the gain of our control system from 0 to 10, right? But here I give you an option that you need to scale the value so that the gain changes from 1 to 10. Like here, this is 0 to 10, right? But in the program, it should be from 1 to 10, not 0. This was the home assignment. So if you see in the proportional logic, we have to make a formula to derive the proportional gain from scaling from 0 to 10 to 1 to 10. All right. So to make that scaling, we have this, uh, we have a formula and that formula says the scaled output, this is a standard formula. Whenever you are going to do scaling, you have to follow this formula. Okay. Now you can even note down this equation this is very important doesn't matter which plc you are using if you want to scale your output you know sometime for example we have this tank ranging from 0 to 300 centimeter that's the range of my tank that's the height of my tank if i want to display the height of my tank instead of all right i have closed my hmi instead of the 0 to 10 if i want to display the height in 0 to 300 then in that case, I have to scale my output, okay? So to scale the output, we have this formula. It says output maximum minus output minimum 
multiply by input to be scaled minus input minimum divided by input maximum minus input minimum plus output minimum. Okay, so it's a kind of complex program. So in our case, the input which we have to scale was 0 to 10 and the output which we need was 1 to 10. So we have an offset of 1. So how to do that? If you see this formula, we have took a variable kpp. This is our scaled output and it says output maximum. Output maximum was 10. This is the output we need. Minus output minimum which was 1. So we put 1 here and this is multiplied by input to be scaled. So I, I took this division here first and then I multiply the whole thing with this kp. So this input to be scaled is here. Okay. Input to be scaled was kp. kp was the input which we are getting from this potential mirror. All right. Then input minimum. Input minimum was 0.0. .0. This is the input minimum. Okay. Divided by input maximum minus input minimum. So this division is here. Input maximum is 10.0. This is input maximum minus input minimum, which was zero. So I put zero here. And overall plus with output minimum. So output minimum was one, this one. So I put it here. So when you have this formula, you are scaling the range of zero to 10 to one to 10. Okay. So let's just, let's just check this one first and then we will proceed with the HMI. So I'm going to simulate this logic using PLC sim. And we are going to see the effect of factory IO in our coding. If you're not sure how this logic has been written in SCL, I would request you to please watch the last lesson. That is mandatory. So our simulation is going to start. I will load the program. Finish. And this I go to monitor it. Okay. Now you will see the KP is here. And I have to simulate this one again. This will be connected once you are running your simulator. Wait a second. Okay, we have two, two simulations on, so I have to close and start over again. Maybe this will help. Okay, now it is connected and I will go back here. So yeah, now we have these values here. So this was our set point and this is our KP. Okay, I can change the value of KP. KP is my gain. And this is my set point and I can show you set point. So set point was 2.5 and accordingly it will fill the level. This is the level meter. It will reach 2.5 and it will stop. This was the last logic, right? Now to see the KP, this was my KP and if I make KP zero, but if I go inside and see the value of KPP, this is equivalent to one. You can see KPP is one. So inside the program, my gain is one, but outside the system, my KP is zero. So we have scaled the value. So when I take KP equivalent to 10, you will see KPP is also equivalent to 10. This is one dot and this is the power, power by one. So one into 10 raised to the power one is 10, okay? If I make KP, let's say 4.6, so proportionally the value will be 5.17. If I make KP here zero, but here KPP is one. So we have seen that the value of KP was 0 to 10, but the value of KPP was 1 to 10. This is how you do the scaling. And this is very easy if you do it in SCL. All right. So this was the this was the homework, which I don't know which you haven't done or I don't know. So this is how you can do it. All right. How to scale the value. Now let's proceed with the HMI. What we have to do, we have some task 
of today and I will open the assignment the first task was okay what you will learn in this assignment making HMI screen for level control second is tagging PLC addresses in HMI screen visualizing and controlling the plant via HMI and adding manual override switch so these are the four things we are going to do so the first thing it says read write the KP set point error feedback on HMI screen so we have to make a screen and we have to read and write the values so to proceed with that let's open your program and since it's an HMI we have to add a new device okay so go to add new device and here you can select your HMI in the HMI you can select your HMI whichever HMI you want to simulate so I will use this display because this is the display which I already have in my lab as well so we are using this HMI so select your HMI click OK so once you click OK there will be a visa which will ask you for other settings which you need to put in the HMI as a startup settings so this is the visa now the first thing is we have to select the PLC so select here this is the PLC which we have already added here so this will come automatically if you haven't added a PLC this will not come so click on select and you will see this has been connected to PLC automatically okay this is the advantage of Siemens DIA so click next and these are the default settings about the colors of the headers so I don't want to change it as of now so I'm just going to click next 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 and finish this visit so once I click on finish you will have your HMI HMI folder subfolders ready here okay now in this HMI folder we have to create these things which have been asked here KP set point error feedback and Wolf output okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background of this HMI because I don't like this gray color I'm going to make it white so just double click on the screen and you have this background color I like the white color the most so I'll just put white here and this is the text and that's the screen zero because in the screen if you see here we have a screen zero and that's the root screen so this is the root screen if I click on this button I will move to screen zero so we have two screens here but since I don't need more screens I can delete this button and also I can delete screen zero because we don't need more screen we are happy with one screen so here this is the title for the title I can write liquid level control okay whatever you wish you can change the title and I would like to make it a little bigger 15 is okay now the first thing is we have to write the game okay now we can take some text from here okay and for your convenience I will zoom it so that you can see easily yeah now it's okay so here I will write proportional game which is KP okay and what else we need I will just copy paste and put the text proportional gain and then we need uh, set point set point is the same thing which we were giving from here okay we are replacing this panel with HMI now so I'll delete all these buttons and potentiometer we don't need this panel now we have an HMI so set point comes here copy paste then I have a feedback feedback is the sensor it's the sensor which which is installed here this is giving us a feedback about the level okay let me see if you have a question okay so after feedback we have what do we have we have error okay error will be the difference between your sensor and your set point okay difference between set point and feedback is the error so I guess this, these are the four things which was asked and the valve output valve output we will use later when we make the valve here okay so these are the four values now before making the making the numeric display all right we can do it here as well you just drag this IO display IO field this is input output field you just drag it here and here this is your output so double click this one and you have the general properties and mode should be only the output because this is just the display that's not the input and just for this appearance I don't like its width which is too much so I will reduce it and make it like this so that's a proportional gain I will copy paste 
make it same for the set point same for the feedback and for the error all right now here the feedback was the output well, that's okay error is also the output it's okay but the set point was input so you can make it input output as well so that it also displays the set point if it was changed somewhere in the program so input out of output is the best choice for set point for proportional gain as well you have input and output okay so let me just drag it here and to make it look better i'm going to drag it here feedback here and error here okay so these are the four things we have here but the question is how we will link this this pneumatic input to our plc program that's the question so let's go back to the plc program because when you're programming your hmi plc and hmi programming goes together so here that's the proportional control logic go offline now this id34 was the set point before so this id34 if you notice here was this one which is a set point coming from here the panel okay so since we are replacing the panel we do not need id34 in the program so if i say i remove this panel i go to stop i don't need these buttons so we don't have any panel here now so in the driver as well there is nothing connected here instead of level meter which is required so in the set point delete the set point sensor is okay kp you have to delete because these two values we are giving from the hmi okay these two values are coming from the hmi so we remove the addresses which were coming from outside okay now the set point i can give a data address okay so let's take nd40 this is one data address which i am using as a real for the set point same in case of kp you can write nd 45 okay that's our kb now we have a drain value and filling value these are the outputs which we will use later so first we have kp and set points so go to your hmi set point was 40 kp was 45 go to your hmi